Shalom. Before I begin this video, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahushai, Ba'ashim Rechakodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. They continue to rule very well to this very day. That is feeding the flock through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahushai. And also Shalom to the whole elect that is also laboring his work. As a labor to uh, show forth your faith in this uh, ministry by spreading this ministry and this gospel to the other members of the whole elect in faith and truth and sincerity and also in all charity. Now, um, the topic of this video is uh, going to be entitled How to Know Who's Ruling. Okay, in which this is something that was uh, brought up in the past um, about, about a few years ago. The apostles and elders uh, mentioned this, in which I'm not sure if they uh, still mention this to this very day. They might mention it here and there, but you know, but it's a it's a true fact concerning who's in rulership and how to know who is in rulership. Okay, and what they uh, mentioned was that if you really want to know who is in rulership and who has dominion over the planet Earth and who's controlling it. You have to find out who you can't talk about. All right. You have to find out who you can't talk about, who you can't say anything negative about. Okay. Now, when it comes to what's going on now concerning uh, Nick Cannon, all right, he basically all he did was uh, give a, a glimpse of the truth in which what he was showing that you so called Negroes are. Of uh, the nation of Israel, you are the true sons of the Heavenly Father, all right, and which is uh, according to the Bible, all right, which is which is the truth, the one hundred percent truth, all right. And not only you so-called Negroes are a part of the uh, the nation of Israel, also you so-called Hispanics and you so-called Native American Indians are also a part of the of the nation of Israel, all right. And he told the truth, and they uh, came down on him, saying that he was he was being anti-Semitic. Which is a complete hypocrisy. All right, because really to be Semitic is to is to come from the line of Shem. You know, we did uh, countless videos on that topic. Okay, so all Nick Cannon did was uh, give a glimpse of the truth, man. You you can't even do that because now, if even if you do that, you looked at it as an enemy. Okay, because it's getting to the point in time to where now, if you ever mention anything concerning the truth. Now you looked at it as an enemy of the state, okay? And which we already know us here at Great Millstone started with the apostles, elders of Great Millstone on down. We already know that we're enemies of the state, man. We already know that they're trying to deem us as terrorists just for bringing out the scriptures, man. Just for going to the Bible and uh, breaking it down. All right, that shows you how powerful this truth is, man. And really, truth is an enemy to these devils. Okay, truth is an enemy towards the uh, the so-called Jews, all right, who they who they claim is uh, to be Jews or Jewish, all right, which really they're not, all right? They're not the Jews that the Bible speaks of, man, okay? Really, they come from the seed of Esau or Edom, which is the true biblical nationality of the so-called white man, okay? Which, really, they're, they're the head of Esau, okay? They're, they're, uh, they come from the stock of Amalek, Okay? But guess what? When you talk about them and you really, when you expose them for who they really are, you get flagged, you know, your videos get taken down, your channel might get taken off. And they, uh, they, they flag you for uh, being anti-Semitic. All right. So again, now that you see who you can't talk about, now you know who has control over the planet Earth. Okay. Now you see who's in rulership. Just by that fact alone. All right, among other things that, that, that goes to show you who has uh, dominion over the planet Earth, okay? So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and jump to the precepts I have here. This is the book of uh, Jeremiah chapter 49, uh, verse 10. And again, you know, this truth is according uh, to the Bible, okay, and the Bible even exposes these devils of who they really are, okay. So, if that's the case, then they might as well ban the Bible, and that's what they're trying to do, 
or they're trying to ban the Bible because it's, it's really exposing this, this devil for who he really is, man. Exposing these are so-called Jews, these Amalekites, these gutter rats for who they really are. All right, that's why Revelation chapter two verse nine is written, and that's another reason why Revelation chapter three verse nine is written to, to expose who they are. Okay. Also, I drove chapter nine verse twenty-four. Okay. I have uncovered in secret places. See, so the Lord, Yahweh Bashim al through the spirit and power of the Lord, he has made Esau bear. Okay? So that's why now there's an attack against truth. Okay? Because truth is making Esau bear. And the truth is being distributed through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim al -Shai. Okay? It says, I have uncovered his secret places. And he shall not be able to hide himself. His seed is spoiled in his brethren and his neighbors, and he is not. See? So right now, Esau can no longer hide himself. Okay? He has stayed hidden for, for long enough. All right? And now truth is starting to come out on the forefront, and it's exposing him for who he really is. Okay? Which is another reason why they're trying to put a muzzle on this truth. Okay. And if you were to ever to speak of uh, not only the so-called Jews or Jewish, which again we can deem as the gutter rats because that's who they really are. But if you try to uh, call out the banking families, right? The uh, the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, uh, and even even the Oppenheimers, right? If you try to uh, call them out. And expose them. Guess what? They look at you as a as a nutcase. All right, as somebody that's bugged out. Uh, conspiracy theorists. Okay. So again, it goes to show you that the ones who are in rulership now you know who they are. All right. And their nationality is also being shown shown to the forefront. Now we know what. What, na what nationality they are And it lines up right with prophecy Okay Because prophecy tells you that Edom Who is a, the sign of future judgment Right Is going to play a part in the end times And Esau is going to be taken down And Now you know who is in our rulership Right Who has dominion And it, now you know Who the enemy is Okay And that prophecy is lining up right with him. Okay, we'll move from there. I'm going to get uh, the book of Isaiah, chapter 30. This is at verse... Uh, let's see, it's like here. Yeah. Just had it. I think I might grab the wrong one. That was Isaiah. I think I want the one in uh, Jeremiah. What's well, like is Isaiah. It's like it. uh, this book of Isaiah, chapter uh, 25. It's at verse uh, 7. It says, And he will destroy in this mountain, right? And the, the mountain represents uh, government. Okay? So, in this current government, in this current system that is set up here on the planet Earth right now in 2020, it says, He will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people. All right, and that covering cast over all people is the different nationality that has been given unto the people. Case in point, us being deemed as so-called African Americans or so-called Negroes. All right, you have uh, the Northern tribes being deemed as uh, Hispanics or Native Americans, Native American Indians. You got the Moabites who are deemed as a so-called Asians, the Ishmaelites. Deemed as so-called Arabs. All right. Now that covering caste is being destroyed. Okay. So now the nationalities of, of these different nations are being revealed to who they really are, especially Edom. All right. Which is again is deemed as being called the so-called white man. Okay. His nationality exposed. Even so, and also the the head tribe of the nation of Edom, which is Amalek. Okay. 
So again, it says, and he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people and the veil that is spread over all nations. Okay. And that, that veil is, is being destroyed right now. Okay. Now we'll move on from there. Um, we'll get the book of uh, 2 Peter chapter 2. It's uh, verse 2. It says, And many shall follow their pernicious ways, by reason of whom the, tr the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. All right? And that's the point. The, the way of truth is now being evil spoken of. Okay? Because to speak truth the, in, in the eyes of these people here in Babylon the Great, which is known as America, in the eyes of these people, truth is looking looked at as evil. Okay, calling calling these uh, these so-called Jews for what they really are is looked at as evil. Okay, uh, you know, trying or attempting to uh, come back or to go back to your original heritage, which was meant for us in the first place since the beginning, that's looked at as evil. Okay, us speaking the truth that's that's evil. Okay. Uh, showing or displaying the, the true name of the Heavenly Father and His Son is looked at as evil. Okay? Calling out wickedness according to the Bible was deemed as wicked. That's looked at as evil. Alright? Like the scriptures say, uh, the ones that they, they, you have people that are here on the planet Earth that's, that's calling good evil and evil good. Okay? So everything is flipped upside down, man. So the way of truth now is evil spoken of. Okay. So it's an evil thing when, so it's evil when we try to tell our people to, to come back to their heritage and and and, and to serve the Lord Yahweh Bashim Shai. You know that's looked at as evil now. Okay. And now you see why. See one of the reasons why we say America must needs be destroyed by way of fire. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna actually get that scripture that I just quoted. like bear with me for one moment Isaiah chapter uh, 5 is at verse uh, 20. It says, Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. See that? So, again, things that are looked at as evil are looked at as good. Okay? And what is looked at as evil? Lies, deceit, treachery. Among other things, man. And what's looked at as a good being seen as evil is what? Truth, righteousness, equity. And also among other things, man. 
Okay, it says, also it says they put darkness for light and light for darkness. Okay, so they see this as a light, and really this is a opposition to the workers of darkness, which are who? The Edomites. All right. And also it says to put uh, bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Okay. And guess what? The, the bitter that I have taken for sweet is America. All right. Because America itself, the word America means bitter. Okay. But they've taken uh, America as being sweet. Okay. And they've taken the sweet, which is what? The nation of Israel. Our nationality as something that is bitter. Okay. So again, the Lord is completely destroying the lies and deceit that have been set forth at the hands of this devil, the so called white man. And truth is springing forth. Now you're starting to see who the real Hebrew Israelites are and who are or who are the, the ones who are of the wicked alright so with that I'm going to go ahead and end off on that note uh, Lord's will is edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel uh, till next time once again I want to give all praise on and glory to Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahushai Ba'ashim Rechakodash double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone they continue to rule very well to this very day. And also, Shalom, peace and safety, and salutations to the whole elect that's also laboring his work. Give me due diligence to make your calling and election sure. And faith, and truth and sincerity, and also in all charity. And with that, God's Shalom.